Good morning, I'm Jess and I make videos for people who come to visit London and a question that tourists always ask me is about public transportation. So today I'm going to walk you through all of the public transport options we have here in London, even the pointless ones, so you can see all the ways that you can get around this city. And the first option is right behind me. Let's go. In London, we have the very famous double-decker buses, which are actually the cheapest way to get around London. I think they're a little bit more comfortable too, and the best part is that if you get a front seat on the top deck, your views are amazing. The downside of buses though, is that they get stuck in traffic, so it can actually take you a really long time to get some places sometimes. Happy on a bus. Right here, we're gonna go down to Canary Wharf. We're on the river bus, another public transportation option here in London. There are 24 different piers where you can get on the river bus, and the price that you pay for your journey depends on how many zones you travel through. There's three of them central, east, and west. The boat is actually really nice. There's even a cafe on board and a toilet. It's actually a really comfortable way to travel around London if it works out for your route. But the downside is it's probably the most expensive way to get around London besides taxi. It is pretty cool. We made it to Canary Wharf on that type of boat and our next motor transportation is right over there. These are Santander bikes, sometimes called forest bikes, and this is the city's public bike system. There are 12,000 bikes around the city and 800 docking stations, including this one. The cost of using these bikes is a little confusing, so hear me out. First, you pay two pounds for 24 hour access to the entire bike system, no matter how many bikes you take out. Then for each bike that you take out, your first 30 minutes of using it is completely free. And for every 30 minutes after that, you will be charged an additional two pounds. For tourists, it can be tricky to cycle around London and a little bit intimidating. So if you do wanna cycle, I recommend getting the bikes at one of our many major parks around the city, like Victoria Park or Hyde Park. It's very fun to cycle around them and you get to see a lot more of the park on two wheels. This is the docking point. We're gonna get two bikes. So when you rent a bike, you get these printouts that have a code on the top, and that is what you type in to pull out one of the bikes. Let me show you. Bikes are super easy to get. I do have a full video that explains more about how to get them that you can watch by clicking the box popping up over here but they are really fun and I just love exploring any city by bike. So let's do it. Okay, time to park the bike. Just to let you know, there are much more interesting places in London to go cycling than Canary Wharf. This is like the financial district of the city, but we just happen to come over this way because of the boat. FYI. The next public transport option we're taking is the train. So in London, we have the underground or the tube. Those trains go under the ground, obviously, but we also have a bunch of lines that are overground, like the DLR, which is just behind me, and the actual line that's called the overground. So they're not as common for tourists to take, but you might end up popping onto one. to go on the most popular transportation here in London, the Underground, also known as the Tube. There are 270 tube stations here in London and over 2 million people every single day take the tube system. And with 11 lines, you can get basically anywhere in the city on the tube. 
It's not all amazing though. Because the tube is so popular, it gets really crowded, especially at peak times. So you might end up waiting for a few trains to pass before you can squeeze onto a carriage. Also, most of the cars don't have air con, so it does get very, very hot down here. But we do what we gotta do. We finally made it to the last public transport option in London, and that is the Emirates Airline Cable Car. It's the least popular option, mainly because it takes you from an area you don't care about to another area you probably don't care about. But if cable cars are your thing, then this might be a good option for you. The pricing's really good. It's five pounds a ticket for adults, two pound 50 for kids, and any kids under five are completely free. The whole ride takes about 10 minutes. You get sat in your cable car, go over the Thames, you get views of City Airport if you're into that, and yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. By the way, if it's your first time visiting London, make sure you grab my free London 101 guide. It has everything you need to know before your first visit here. And if you wanna watch more of my videos about transportation in London, click one of the videos popping up around me. And I get cars. It's so bumpy. <laughs> I can take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>